Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. And what means value? So they have just converted with these names. Okay, both are same. In Selenium IDE, it is you know general approach. You know these three. This I was mentioning. This is a general approach. And this they have mentioned in Selenium IDE. Okay. So whenever you closely observe Selenium IDE, there is common target value. So whatever the step that we wanted to automate, here we'll have a command operation. Okay, target where we have to perform our uh, operation, and if there is any value that we need to pass. Okay, here command is nothing but operation. Operation is nothing but are you are you clicking, are you entering, are you selecting, are you verifying? Okay, are you storing a value? Uh, are are you waiting? Uh, are you waiting? No, you are performing some uh, operation. Okay, that is called as command. Yeah. Any other questions here? Yeah. I know. Well, we'll do that, uh, Julie. Don't worry. Yeah. So this is about uh, the section, this command target section. Okay. Now let me let me record this session. Uh, let me record, you uh, know, whatever we are, you uh, uh, know, uh, uh, discussed here. Whatever scenario that we have discussed here, whatever the scenario that we have discussed here, let us record this. Okay. Yeah. See here for recording. As I said, you know, by default it will be in uh, record mode. So I have, uh, un, uh, no, I have uh, unchecked that. Now again, I'm clicking this record. Okay. Now let me go here. I'm opening this. Now see here, I'm searching automation testing here. I'm entering automation testing in this text box. Okay. Then I'm clicking on this button. Then I'm clicking on the sign in button. Okay. Now let me go to Selenium IDE. Let me stop the record. Yeah. Can you see here? You now for opening this uh, URL, okay, the command is open. And for entering this automation testing, command is send the keys. Command is send the keys and target is nothing but our locator. Here our target is nothing but the locator that we were talking about. Okay. Uh, if you remember in our uh, now earlier class, we were talking about ID, name, uh, CSS, XPath, right? If you observe here, there is ID. See here, I'm clicking on this fine button. Can you observe? In the background, it is getting highlighted with yellow color. Okay. So we are, you know, we, we, are, we are performing an operation called uh, send keys on this object ID. You know? See here. See here, this is the target. Again, the same thing, command target value can be represented here also. Okay, this is the command, this is the target, this is the value. Okay, for the target, 
uh, you know, for, for us to identify you know, whether it is, you know, how it is identifying or not, you now we can use this option, find option. Okay. Now if you select this click, actually click is the next page, right? So, now let me go here. Now observe here, I'm clicking on, I'm selecting, now uh, the operation is in, the command is click and target is this. If you closely observe this background object, which will be highlighted in green color. Okay. Observe here, I'm currently we are in this click operation. Just closely observe here, the background will be uh, you now highlighted with uh, green color. Can you see that? And similarly, after that we click on the sign in. Can you observe that? Sign in is getting hired. Okay. So this is an operation. Here if you observe here, operation is click and white. And for this, we don't need to pass any value. So it's click and wait where it has to click on this particular sign in. So it has a locator. Okay. So the same steps, the steps that we are uh, you know, talking about, you know, this is how we can automate. Okay. These are the steps that we automated. Okay. You know, I was mentioning command target value and the same thing can be represented here, command target value. Okay. For target, we have an option this. Okay, now this is called as table table structure. The same thing can be uh, you know, viewable in source code. This source code is nothing but it's HTML logic. Okay, whatever we have uh, we are seeing here, whatever we are observing here in a table format. I know this is represented in a table format. Whatever uh, whatever we are uh, seeing here, the same thing can be observed in uh, you know, HTML format. If you go to the source source mode. You can observe here. Can you see here? Send the keys and this is the locator and this is the value that we are passing. Okay. The same value, the table the representation can be represented in source code. It means basically whatever the script that we have created, it is going to be stored in a basic HTML format. Okay. So whatever the script that we are going to create in Selenium IDE, Basically, the base format is HTML. Okay. The basic format is HTML. Yeah. So far, any questions here? What is giving? Uh, why it is giving uh, different colors? Yeah, it depends on the you know objects and the locator. You know. Uh, it mostly for the buttons it, it will highlight in, uh, in uh, you know in this format for the buttons generally you know as it is in uh, a blue color you know uh, you know it will come in uh, you know green color uh, not varies basically okay and it also depends on the locator here uh, you know it is come it is in red color and I have selected a uh, here uh, the selenium is selected a CSS locator okay so that is the reason it is coming again in yellow uh, color. Okay. And Judy is asking what is locator. Judy, uh, uh, you know in our previous class we were discussing about these locators, right? ID, CSS, name. You know, we were discussing about. Uh, no. Right click here and uh, no. I was mentioning inspect element with Firebug. We are talking about this ID, and uh, there should be some name, right? This name. So this we call as uh, locators, right? And you are asking what is the purpose of recording? Automation is nothing but I uh, know automating the uh, manual testing process, right? So these are the I am saying these are the three uh, four steps, three or four steps which are part of manual testing, right? Of course, I did not mention about verification here. But however, you know, automation is nothing but automating the manual testing process. So in, auto, in manual testing, we are performing these things. So we are trying to automate these steps. Is it clear, Judy? Yeah, Sirisha, you know, uh, if you remember, if you look at syllabus, I'm not sure whether you got the syllabus or not. Uh, no. 
uh, once you are done with selenium IDE, if you observe here, uh, now here and here, we have uh, selenium IDE. Okay. Once this selenium IDE is done, we are going to start with selenium web driver. You know, if you observe here, we are talking. We will talk about selenium uh, setting up Eclipse. Okay, this is the actual place where we start. To, where we will learn about uh, Java. If you observe here, can you see here? Introduction Java variable Java modifier. So this is the place where we will talk about uh, uh, no Java. It means uh, no maybe uh, in another two classes where we will done with the selenium IDE. Once we are done with selenium IDE. We will start with Java. Okay. To make the uh, uh, C clearly, you mean? Yes, yes, Judy, that's correct. Uh, let me unmute you, Vivek. Yes, you can speak out. Yes, Vivek. Okay, thank you, Kumar. Yes. Speak out. What's your question? Uh, so, Kumar, uh, these uh, objects when you are talking about, can you go back to the pre uh, Excel sheet? Okay. Okay, so when we are entering an operation and target, so target is a identifier that we are going to find from the uh, IDE locator. Exactly, that's correct. Okay, so uh, when we are, so we have a selected commands that is used by the Selenium. So there is a list of commands that we can use, or we can use any English word. No, no, uh, no. You have to. Uh, there will be listed commands. You have to use appropriately. If you want, okay. To, you have to use a click operation only. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.